Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Anybody there? Oh, Andrea. How are you? I've got volume. Hello? Hi, teacher. How are you doing, Andrea? Very good. All right, great. That's good to hear. All right, Camilla is joining good too. Evening. Good evening. How are you? How was your weekend? I'm good. good evening, Camila. Good evening, Andrea. How are you? Good. All right, fine. It's so great. Hey, it's so great to have you. So, well, let's begin, huh? So, uh, how many of you, uh, well, you girls started working on the platform already, right? Yeah, yeah I, I could see. I could see you, you, <laughs> you already began. Uh, don't like the lighting in here. I'm also a little key. Yeah. Well, anyway, so you already began that, which is, a, which is great. Yes. Uh, next week, we have to do more. And we just have uh, two more weeks left. Yeah, only two more weeks for this course. And then we probably go, go to a break and start again sometime, I think, in September or October, I guess. So, yes, hey, let, let's text the, the others. Okay, let's text the rest of the group and tell them we're here already. Just, just a second, guys. Let's see where these people are. Yeah, they must be coming. All right, great. So I just I just uh, text them, uh, texted them, see what's up. They should be coming anytime soon. Okay, all right, great. So uh, I have a, a short, uh, I have a, a very small, a very short question for you. Do you guys, uh, do you girls go shopping? I mean, in, in a regular, hello Maria, in a regular uh, season, forget about, uh, forget about the, the lockdown, forget about quarantine, forget about that. In a regular season, do you like to go shopping? Do you like going shopping? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you do? Okay. And uh, do you shop a lot? Like, do you buy, do you buy lots of things? Like, uh, first you go to, uh, you, you buy clothes and then you buy shoes and then you buy uh, furniture, jewelry. Yeah, jewelry. That's true. So, yeah, you do, huh? Yes. <laughs> you do? Okay. Is that, is that like a hobby? Is that like a hobby for you girls? Well, in my case, I think it's no. It is. I think no. Uh-huh. Yes, I buy it only I need it or something in my house need it. Okay, so you only buy things you need. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's a good. But point. I like it, of yeah. course. <laughs> all right, yes. you like it. You like yes. going going, but all right, great. And how about you, Andrea? Do you like going shopping? Yes, I like, but in my case, it's similar, Maria, because. Um, Salgo. Uh, I go. Okay. Uh -huh. I go to buy when it's necessary. Only when it's necessary. Okay. All right. Yeah, but but uh, but what about? Let's forget about lockdown. Okay, there isn't lockdown. You know, quarantine. There isn't. So um, let's imagine we are in a regular season. You can do whatever you want. Go out whenever you want and uh good evening 
good evening and go to any store it doesn't it doesn't matter how many people there are in the store you can go there and uh, buy anything you want so uh do you like go shopping i think camilla said yes she likes going she likes uh shopping for jewelry which is a great ho uh, hobby how about you or do you do, is it always this way you just go for what you need yeah well I, in my case uh, the, i don't like shopping in the um, in the season christmas season for example mm -hmm. okay uh, in, in our season with a, uh, a lot of people uh, shopping whatever with, with everything i don't sure. like I, I like shopping yes but no no it's a hobby it's not a hobby okay mm -hmm. So you do like shopping, all right, and but not in not in Christmas. Yeah, in Christmas is horrible. Mm. You don't feel like going. I personally, I personally don't like it. Too many people, too much traffic. Mm. Yes, yeah. And how about you, Omar? Do you like going shopping? Yes, in my case, I like to buy uh, a lot, Be but sometimes when I uh going to buy anything uh, to spend more uh, more cash uh, to the necessary okay so you spend a lot of cash more than yes. necessary okay all right watch it watch it hey there is a stereotype there is a stereotype and uh probably let, let's hope it doesn't it doesn't offend offend anybody let's look at it people say people say that uh in general this is how shopping is like do you agree or disagree with this look supposedly it's this way Hey, how uh, sh uh shopping go? Bergen, uh, go to Bergen bin and buy a pair of pens. Right, that's the goal. That Bergen bin is a is an America fictitious American store. It's como una 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 tienda así como imaginario, verdad? Uh, and buy a pair of pens. That's the goal. That's what you're going out for. Now look uh supposedly probably not true a woman takes three hours and 26 minutes doing that and how much does uh does a woman regularly spend in her trip uh andrea how much does does this woman spend in that little ch uh shopping trip Three hours. Yeah, three hours. And how much money? Uh, mm, how do you say? Uh, here, cost. A. Cost. Mm -hmm. A. a mm -hmm. Come on, you can do it. Or eight hundred. A hundred six. Seven. All right, 876, all right? 876. 876. All right, good, good. So that's how much, supposedly, that's how much a woman spends in there. All right, and uh, how about, uh, supposedly, a man? Uh, Camilla, how much does this man spend how long does he spend in the store and how much money does he spend in there? Okay, he only spends six, uh, six minutes yes. and she, spend, uh, she spends $33 only. $33 only. And he probably, he bought, uh, he bought only a pair of pants probably 
He just bought that. Only bought a pair of pens. Okay, good. So, um, do you believe this is true? Does this happen to you, girls? No. I don't. I, I don't believe. I think it's a, a stereotype. It's a stereotype. Yes. Okay. The women like the shopping. Okay. But, it's, uh, mm -hmm. I agree, Camila. You, you agree with Camila? Okay. I don't agree with with her. <laughs> you don't agree with <laughs> with Camila? Probably they have to go shopping with you, and they will like it. <laughs> uh, and Maria, what about you? Do you agree with uh, with um, this picture? The, I don't know. I think it depends. Because, well, when I go shopping, mm -hmm. I spend this time, three okay. or, four, or, four, uh, or four hours, um, oh, but yes, because I, I like to see um, all, but the cost, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. An occasion, maybe when, when I think I have a... I have a money to mm -hmm. spend uh -huh, for for anything. Okay. Um I uh, I don't know how do you say but yo me pongo un limite. Oh I I set a limit. Set. I, I set, set. Mm -hmm. I set a limit. Uh-huh. But I I think it's it's um the majority of the woman, um, yes. Okay. It's, mm -hmm. Majority of women do this. So, yes. probably. I think. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Probably. I agree with Maria. Okay. All right. Probably not, not as much money, but probably the time yes. you spend. Yes. Walking around. And, Maybe. Uh, yes. yes. Please. Aleda, what about you? Do you agree with Do you agree with this picture? Um, depend. It depends on what. Because I I don't like taking too long okay. time, but Andrea takes too long time. Uh, so she does take long. Uh, she does take long. Uh, she does take long. She's telling us that she doesn't. Mm hmm. So your friend exposed you. Yeah, your friend just exposed you. So, uh, but yeah. this that day, how oh, I say, yeah, this day, I laid a pace. Oh, that day, I laid a paid. Okay, all right, so it, it's fine then, you don't mind. Okay, <laughs> all right, look, probably, uh, here. Yeah, it looks like a woman goes around one store and then she goes to another, like a maze. Goes to one store, buys one thing, then to another, and then walks around every store until she gets to her objective, the bargain, uh, the bargain bin, supposedly. So uh, maybe it is true, maybe it isn't. Well, at least, at least. My mother and my girlfriend, they shop this way. Probably they don't spend this money, but they shop this way. They go to every store, check on every store and every shelf until they arrive to the store that they want. And, uh, or the store that they were supposed to go. But they take a long time and spend more money than intended. Okay, in this lesson, in this lesson, we're going to uh, we're going to learn how to use uh, transition words of addition. Okay, that's today's objective. The objective is this: is to use uh, transitions uh, transition words. Uh, like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides. I have another another 
book and, and, and other exercises like this one that I want to do here in class. So let's begin. We're going to read two paragraphs, okay? And you tell me which one is, you tell me which one is easier to read. So we read two paragraphs together and you tell me which one is more organized, all right? So uh, let's begin. Let's begin uh, with, uh, with Claudia. Claudia, please. Hello. Can you, uh, Alina, can you keep your microphone off when you're not participating, please? Teacher, okay. excuse me. Yes. I have a question. What is the page of this program today? Uh, uh, today, in today's lesson, we're going to work on page 22, but... Page 22. Yeah, okay. but I have, I have exercises from a different book. We will do this together. At the end, we will do it. Do it. Okay. But uh, we will first uh, work on exercises from another book so we, we can, you know, check on other Okay. Other vocabulary. Yeah, other words. So uh, let's begin reading, please. Uh, Aleida, can you start reading this paragraph, please? Paragraph number one. All right, go ahead, please. Men and women suppers. Suppers, all right, good. Suppers. Understand the difference between men and women. Shoppers, shoppers. Mm -hmm. Can you use this knowledge, knowledge? knowledge to design their stores? Women shoppers use their five cents when they shop. They want to touch and feel fabrics and visualize. 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 Themselves in clothes. Okay. Owner of women's clothes. Clothing shop plays clothes with loss of pearls of pearls. Okay, all right. Let's ask, uh, let's ask, uh, let me see, where were we? Outfit, uh, where, where did you stop? For um, mm -hmm. No. Quite differently, boring out. Where did you stop? Outfit. Outfit. Okay. With an outfit. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's ask Claudia to continue, please. Claudia, continue with the reading, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. They group clothes not by item but by style, okay. classic or casual. For instance, men shoppers shop quite differently. Men shop for clothes only when they have to. All right. See? All right, yes, please continue. A man buys a pair of jeans because his old ones have worn out. He probably wants exactly the same jeans. Men want everything in its place so that they can buy what they want and live. They want all shirts together over here and all pants together over there. Men's clothing stores are arranged very differently from women's. All right, good, good. Now, we will continue reading an, uh, another paragraph. It's the same, but here we have made some changes. It looks a little different. And then you will answer one question for me. All right, uh, Omar, can you start reading, please? Okay, men and women shoppers, store owners who understand the differences between men and women shoppers can use this knowledge to design their stores. First of all, women shoppers 
use their five senses when they shop. For example, they want to touch and feel fabrics and visualize themselves in clothes. They're off. Owner of women's clothing shops plays clothes with a lot of thrill, frills and luxury fabrics at the front at the front of the shop. Continue? Yes, please. Furthermore, they place the items near one another to allow a women to visualize them together okay. as an outfit. Yeah, good. Let's stop there and let's ask uh, let's ask uh, somebody else to read. Uh, Camilla, can you continue, please? Okay. The Yorker group clothes no by eating but but by style, classic or casual. For instance, men shoppers on the other hand shop quite different. Men shop for clothes only when they have to. For instance. A man buys a pair of jeans because he sold or once have worn out. He probably wants exactly the same thing. Moreover, men wants everything in this place so that they can buy what they want quickly and they leave. Mm -hmm. They want all shirt together over there and all and all pants together over there. As a result, men clothing stores are arranged very different from women's. Okay, good. Now let me ask you, what paragraph do you feel is better, is easier to read? Number one or number two? I uh, will... Number two, I Maybe think. Number two. Mm. Yeah, you think number two? Why do you think uh, number two? First, uh, Omar and then Aleida, you give me your opinions. Because the number two paragraph is uh, very specific and, and explain very easy. Uh, okay, I hmm? got you. So explains things more, uh, more easily. Okay, great. And uh, what is your opinion, Camila? Why do you think uh, number two is... Uh, easier to read? I think uh, because the second paragraph, um, the phrases, the, the word um, reduces uh, compared to the first paragraph. And it's more easy and uh, another sentences maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, it has, it has uh, like phrases that help the reader, right? Uh, Maria, what do you think? Uh, which one do you think it was easier to read? Number two. Number because, two. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it's more um, understandable. Understandable. Uh huh. Understandable and more easy to read. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and what makes it more understandable and easier to read, in your opinion? Yes. What, what is it that makes it easier to read? Uh, because it's more specific mm -hmm. in this uh, paragraph. Okay, it's more specific. And uh, somebody else, somebody else, is there another reason this is number one is easier to read than number, I mean, number two is easier to read than number one? Any other ideas? Any other reasons why? Teacher. Yes. I think paragraph two is more easy read because um, they have connection. Yeah, that is the point. Bingo. That's the point. It has connectors uh, connectors let let's let's do this let's grab uh, a, a pencil from uh, zoom's pencil all right and uh, please can you mark those connectors I found one the easiest one all right can you circle or or underline any other connectors in paragraph two please 
if you can use a Zoom's pencil, of course, please. Okay, there you go, for example, any other? Great, thank you. All right, good. Good, let's see, any other? Any other, there are more. Mm, wait, mm, nope, that one is, all right, continue, continue. All right, good. That's another one, and then we're just mi we're just missing one more. Yes, great. That's one. We need another one though. At the end, last sentence. Last sentence. No sé cómo se hace para tomar el lápiz y marcar, oh. pero es as a result in clothing store arranged very mm -hmm. different from women. Correct. As a result, as a result, yes, that's the one. As a result, all right. So these words help connecting your paragraph, connecting uh, writing better and more understandably. So that's why everybody says it's more, it's easier to read. It's easier, all right? It's easier to read. We can follow it e uh, more easily because it's connected uh, as opposed to the other paragraph that doesn't have any connectors. So it's easier to read. So here we have these words, all right? First, we say, first of all, all right? First of all, repeat, first of all, all right? Then we have a, for example, for example, and uh, therefore, all right? Therefore, we also have here, furthermore, furthermore. Then uh, we also have uh, moreover, moreover and as a result as a result as a result there is a coherence yes exactly it helps building coherence in a text probably there these words are too fancy for speaking but uh they are good connectors in writing Indeed, indeed they are. So, what's just a second, guys? All right, never mind. So, uh, they are very helpful for writing, all right, and also for making reading more understandable. So, uh, here is a quick chart of uh, some of them. Okay, let's clear everything. All right, here's a, here's a quick summary of them. All right, so here, here you have them. Like for example, uh, we used these ones to list uh, logical uh, ideas in logical division, all right? So uh, please, let me ask Ale, uh, no, what, what's her name, Arabella. Arabella, are you there? Arabella? Hola, yes. Oh, okay, can you, can you read these uh, words, please? Okay, first, second, Yes. Etc. Yeah, First of all, furthermore, also in addition, moreover. 
Okay, great, great. So these are words we use to add uh, similar ideas and or uh, ideas in a logical order. Okay, all right. So these words help making a paragraph or a text more uh, more understandable and uh, easier to read. Okay, there are others, of course, but we'll, we'll not focus in, in them today. All right. So uh, let's let's do a little a little exercise together. Okay. So uh, just one second. I think I have some in here. All right, good. So we'll first work on uh, adding. Let's see, let's move on. All right, we'll work on adding some of these words for logical, uh, for logical uh, division of ideas, okay? There is a long paragraph in here, but probably will not do this one because it might be a little difficult and yeah, may have a lot to go over, but it is, is how it works. So let's do this one, okay? Let, it, let us read this one and uh, add, these, uh, add these words to it, okay? For adding a similar idea. So I'll, I'll start reading and then somebody else picks it up. So today, it is possible to get many services without making human content. For instance, you can buy music, rent movies, and order groceries online without speaking to a person. What do you think goes in here? Also, in addition. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. In addition, you can buy almost anything from from potato chips to underwear from vending machines that will accept your money and return your change automatically. Let's see another one. Another one. And I think it's also. Mm -hmm. Also? I think also too. Mm -hmm. By using your phone, you can make additional international calls, national and international calls. Great. Let's see and, how about here. And, and send text message. Okay, good. And Very good. Message. And finally. Oh. Moreover. Uh, you can, probably that also goes here. All right. Also usually is in the middle of a sentence. All right. You can also earn college credit by taking online courses. So probably we'll go over, we'll go like this. So in addition, or probably more over, in addition, also, oh, sorry. And, and uh, finally also. So probably it will be that way because also goes in the middle of a sentence. Sure. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Omar. This, this exercise is to is also in the platform too. Uh, no, no, this isn't. This is oh. is is for extra practice because the the manual has a very little practice, so I picked extra for more practice. All right, so we first uh, said that uh, without speaking to a salesperson, probably here we can say more, uh, more over, over here, more over. Now, and in the next one, that will accept your money automatically. Maybe in uh, here. In a addition either way can be possible in addition here we said in addition by user info you can also make calls here we said uh, also oh sorry and and finally 
also. So these are similar ideas, okay? You can also. That is, that is the only thing. Also goes in the middle of a sentence. And these, moreover and in addition, go at the beginning, all right? They could have been in either A or B, but and and also they go in different positions. All right. Um, let's see. Let's move on and let's see if we can do the the next exercise and see if it's possible. All right. Next exercise is it probably a little longer. Yes, it's a little longer, but it, it's helpful too. So, uh, yeah, I'll give examples, probably not. Okay, here we're gonna, we're gonna talk about storms, okay? Let's see what works better. It's a very long paragraph, but it, it, it's a good practice. Good, so let's begin. So here we go, like this. All right, and you can also use the text tool. There is a text tool in the annotate, uh, in the annotate part. So uh, let's ask uh, Maria to start reading, please. Uh, um, how storms are named. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered how those big ocean storms called hurricane or type Typhoons, typhoons, yes. Typhoons mm -hmm. get their names. Okay. Who, who decide to name a hurricane Ann or Barbara or Bill? Okay, stop there. Let's ask uh, Romulo to continue, please. The way hurricanes and typhoons are named has changed. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, continue, please. Okay. The way hurricanes and typhoons are named has changed over the years, and it is an interesting history story. Okay. Originally, weather forecasters described yes. them by their position in degrees of latitude and longitude. Mm -hmm. Uh what do you for think? example yes a, okay a, a typhoon might have been called 20 uh, 21.20 north mm -hmm. and 100 1507 point west okay uh-huh yes all right. Uh, yeah, let's have somebody else uh, continue. Jonathan, can you continue, please? This thing may have been color. Uh, here, west. 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 That's where we are. Yes. All right. Continue, please. West, moreover, uh, this metal. All right. Uh, do you think we are contrasting the idea or continuing the idea? Are we saying something different? Look, this method was confusing because storms don't stay in the same. All right. Yeah, good. Answer in the chat. You can also answer in the chat. All right. Alayda says, however, and that is probably true. Yeah, we are contrasting here. Estamos como comparando o contrastando una idea, ¿verdad? En un principio decíamos de que eh, los nombraban según su latitud y longitud, pero el método no funciona. Entonces, un conector que equivale al pero es however. ¿Ok? However. ¿Ok? However. Everybody say however. ¿Right? However. How, however. Yeah, however. However. Yeah, however. Great. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's continue reading. Mario, can you please? Um, I cannot see uh, because the text, but it's hiding the text. Uh, oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Let's see. Uh, however, that was it. That was it, I guess. 
Hang on. Oh yeah, this. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. so, and this method is was confusing because storms don't stay in the same place. Okay, let's move on further. So for example, in however, I won't forget. All right, let's move on further. And uh, yes, okay, continue please. The same place. In brief. Mm -hmm. yeah. You think? ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué tendría que hacer aquí? Tendría que agregar una idea, tendría que... Eh, en brief se utiliza para, para, digamos, para concluir. Therefore. All right. All right. We can say that. Probably therefore. Yeah. Therefore. Therefore, people develop other ways. Mm -hmm. Therefore es como decir por lo cual. Ok. Es muy, es muy similar a decir por, o por dicha razón, por lo cual, por lo tanto. Mm -hmm. Ok. Good. Therefore, uh, people developed other ways to identify them. Okay, good. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Somebody else, uh, let's see. All right. Uh, Jose, can you continue, please? Sure. Uh, people develop other ways to identify them. In Caribbean Sea, hurricanes were named for the Catholic Saints' Days. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, which one do you pick? Which one do you think means, for example? For instance. Does. 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 Which one Does. do you think means, for example? Moreover. Moreover. Mm -hmm. Or. Does. Which one do you sounds like, for example? What it means, does. Does is like a. Uh, for dicha razón, or like to add more reasons, mm -hmm. or continue an idea. And uh, moreover is uh, similar in meaning. So which, which one is a left? Okay, got something here in the chat. Let's see. For instance, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that might be it. For instance, means the same as for example. Okay, for instance, means the same as for example. All right, keep it in mind. All okay. right. And moreover, what it means? Moreover is uh, sub, is uh, to add more ideas, like uh, for example, like uh, saying something like además. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in okay. addition, means something similar. Therefore, and 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 furthermore. Do as well. Okay, continue, please. Okay. All right, uh, let, let's ask uh, somebody else to continue okay. here. Let's see, somebody else is being a little quieter. Shane, can you speak today? Mm, probably not. Anna Lillian, continue, please. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, a hurricane that's struck an island in the Caribbean. Is it correct? Yeah, in the Caribbean, you say Caribbean. The hurricane that's struck an island in the Caribbean. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. on Saint Anne's, they was named Santa Ana yes. during World War. Mm -hmm. I hurricanes and Typhons were named according to the military alphabet. Alphabet. Mm -hmm. Yes. People, Baker, Charlie, and so on. All right. During, during World War, uh, what's the correct form to say? Second. 
Uh, you, this no. one you say World War Two. World War Two. Oh, okay. World War Two. Mm -hmm. One of its names begin to be. Okay, hang on, hang on. Just scrolling down. I need it. I need to change my tool. All right, good. Women's names uh, begin to be. To be in yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, therefore, yeah, okay. The next 35 years were for the caster, casters. Mm -hmm. Talking about Typhoon, Alice, or Hurricane Bet Betsy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Mm -hmm. All right, good. Let's uh, let's ask uh, Maria to continue, please. However, mm -hmm. yeah. In the uh, hi. Yeah, yeah. Continue. Okay. However, in the nineteen seventies, the women's liberation movement came alone and forced weather for for casters to use men names to mm -hmm. all right uh finally after about 1975 yeah yes mm -hmm. let me see mm -hmm. or no. do, what do you think is, is showing okay women pushed for them to have uh, men's names in uh, for them to name hurricanes after men. So mm -hmm. this is the outcome. This is the uh, consequence. It's the consequence of the women's uh, women's movement. A result. It, it's, a, it's a result. Yes, it's a result. You see? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It, good. It's a result. So as a result. As a result, after about 1975, a storm could be named Gertrude or George. Yeah. Okay. Great. And uh, let's uh, ask uh, somebody else to conclude. And uh, Camilla, you finish, please. Okay. Um... Names and woman names, Audrey, Alice, Brad, Carla, David, Ellen, Frederick, and so on. So okay. so on. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so the way Hurricane and Typhoon, mm -hmm. our name has changed over the years and will on the own double piece change again. And will undoubtedly, you say, undoubtedly. Okay. Undoubtedly. Now, uh, there is a connector we use to summarize, to conclude, to close the paragraph. Which one do you think it is? To sum up. Okay, good. So, to sum up, all right, to conclude, or as a conclusion, como una conclusion, uh, here we put to sum up, to sum up, all right, to sum up. Uh, to sum up, hurricanes, uh, the way hurricanes and typhoons, our name has changed over the years and will undoubtedly change or change, change again. Great. Let's see somebody in the chat, I think, agreed on that. Yeah. To sum up, to sum up, that helps concluding the sentence. Okay. Make, uh, ending the paragraph. Eso ayuda como a terminarlo. Okay. So uh, there is a, just a little warning. Uh, we should uh, let's read this warning and let me ask uh, Romulo to read the last warning. Caution, it says. Please, uh, Romulo, can you okay. read the warning? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do not overuse transition signals. Yes. Using too many is just as confusing as using too few. Don't use a transition sign out in every sentence. Use one only when it helps your reader understand 
how one sentence relates to another sentence. Okay, good. So using too many like however, therefore, so, and, and uh, all the time, every time repeatedly will probably make the reader just as confused uh, as if you didn't have any connector at all. So be careful only when there is a kind of relation. Solo como hay, cuando hay una como relación de razón, de ejemplo, de, de contraste o de eh, ad, adición de ideas. Okay? Solo en esos, en esos casos, cuando hay, hay, hay razón, hay uh, contraste o ejemplos, conclusión, resultado, causa y efecto, solo en, en dichos casos es, es necesario utilizar un, un, un nexo como estos. De otra manera, no es, no es, eh, no es necesario ni recomendable sobreutilizarlos. O sea, repetirlos demasiadas veces. That's not okay. It, because it, it, it makes the paragraph probably too mechanic too. And it's not fun to read. Okay, now opinions on this. Opinions. Uh, hey, again, I think we're looking at some women, women stereotypes. Okay, so uh, forecaster is cold. Forecaster is cold. Hurricanes after named. Hurricanes after women. Do you think that's okay? Why do you think, now let's ask uh, Mario, why do you think they name hurricanes after women? Mm, I don't know. Don't know? Probably. Maybe they had a bad experience with that one. <laughs> uh, they, the, the forecaster had a bad experience with a Betsy. So probably he met a Betsy and, and Betsy wasn't a good woman to him. Okay, uh, anybody else? Anybody else? The reason that uh, mm -hmm. the movement, okay. women's liberation, or the women uh, uh, claimed your <laughs> right, <laughs> or equal, equal, equal yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. So later, later, uh, the women's liberation movement forced forecaster to use men's names as well so there could be a Gertrude or a George hurricane so it, can, it could be either way all right so it could be either way um, I guess I guess uh, it, let me ask you is there any question about the use of these words we will have more practice so you can uh, so you can uh, understand it and uh, implement it better too. So uh, is there any question so far? You guys have any, any questions? No, no, all good, all good. Let's have more practice uh, from, your, from your student's manual. Okay, that was, that was just to check on different topics. Okay, so, uh, all right, good. Let's zoom, let's do a little zooming here. Okay, so transition words. All right, let's see what they mean. All right, let's let's go over them. Please, Jonathan, can you start uh, reading about transition words in here? Jonathan? Sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay, transition words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides, add information, reinforces ideas and express agreement with ideas that have been presented previously. Okay, good, good. So uh, let's have uh, Claudia reading the first example, the example in the left here. 
in the sentence. In the sentence. A. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be hosting each group and the location of each. B. All right. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. All right, good, good, thank you. That's, that's pretty good. All right, um, let's see. So here we have, a, we have a words that look at information, reinforce ideas and express agreement with ideas. All right, good. Another example. Here, uh, let's have uh, Camilla reading this example, please. Okay, in the sentence letter C, in order to select a focus group to test a product, in, for its importance to, to gather, to gather the, of group, a group of participants who make direct use to the final product or services. Moreover, it is necessary to choose the moderate for every group. All right. Yeah, good. So it's important to choose a moderator for the every group. Now, look, uh, these words seem to add more information. They seem to add more information and uh, they work as uh, probably like the word uh, además. Funcionan más o menos como la, las palabras como además, de tal manera. And, uh, and so on. Look at the punctuation. Let's read about punctuation. Can you uh, tell us about the punctuation, please? Uh, let's ask, uh, who do we ask? Uh, Andrea, can you, can you tell us about punctuation here, please? Not not I, not, no sé cómo se dice. Notice, no. say notice. Ah. Notice that the transition in addition and for the more in A and B. Question mm -hmm. in period and a following by a comma. Okay, good. Our pre, uh, <laughs> all right, good are preceded by, by a question mark and followed by a comma. All right, good. Let's see, how about punctuation more over, Mario? In C, the transition more over is preceded by a semicolon and followed by a comma. Okay, good, good. So here we have a, we have a, we have a comma, all right? So it's, preceded by a semicolon and uh, it's followed by a comma. Semicolon, el punto y coma. So that is a semicolon in English, okay? Semicolon, así se llama. ¿Cómo se llama el punto y coma in English? How do you call semicolon. it? Semicolon. All right, semicolon. It's this, okay, semicolon. And it's followed uh, by a coma. All right. All right, so what is the decision of how can we separate ideas? What is this decision based on? Uh, let's ask Claudia to read it, please. Claudia. The decision to separate the two ideas with a period question mark plus transition or with a semicolon plus transition is a matter of personal style. Okay, so it all, it, it's a matter of personal style. Uh, en algunos casos, y eso se lo sigo en español porque es, este tema quizás es un poquito avanzadito, pero sí ya se puede comenzar a ver en este nivel para que ustedes eh, tengan como más vocabulario y se escuchen y puedan escribir textos un poquito más formales, digamos. Eh, en este caso, Alguna gente separa o utiliza estos patrones de puntuación. Por ejemplo, algunos utilizan un punto antes, o sea, termina la oración anterior. Por ejemplo, en, eh, en furthermore, uh, aquí comenzaron una oración, digamos, terminaron una oración, comenzaron esto con mayúscula 
y una coma al final. Unos utilizan este, este patrón. Otros utilizan este patrón de punto y coma, el nexo y la coma. It can happen either way. Y eso ya es como estilo personal. O sea que ambos patrones están bien. ¿okay? No hay mucha diferencia entre si usted va a escribir con un punto y coma y una coma o digamos, o digamos van a utilizar una nueva oración. O sea, a, a how stop, como le dicen aquí, punto y seguido en inglés se dice how stop. Voy a poner aquí en el chat. How stop. Wait. How stop is punto y coma. Uh, punto y seguido. How punto stop. Uh -huh. How stop es como punto y seguido. Okay. Algunos utilizan punto y seguido. Y, y comienzan con mayúscula el conector. Por ejemplo, digamos eh, aquí en furthermore. Like, for example, many, uh, many hurricanes, Mary, many hurricanes uh, were named after men, after, uh, after, yeah, let's say after men. Uh, furthermore, y así continúa. Furthermore, okay. Si ven en el chat, en el chat estoy poniendo mi ejemplo. Many hurricanes were named after men. Furthermore, y así, este patrón. Y luego se va a una coma. Y en otros, otros casos hacen esto. Punto y coma. Furthermore, va en, en eh, minúscula, todo minúscula. Y se va así. It can happen either way. Hey, I have to run attendance. Tengo que pasarles asistencia. Just give me a second. All right. So let's begin. Let me stop sharing. All right, today is 1617. All right, good. So uh, Jose Enrique Salazar de la OSA. Okay, got it. And uh, yeah, all of these people don't come anymore. Romulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Present teacher. Iris Dorotea Sanchez Figueroa Acevedo. Yeah, she couldn't make it, no pudo venir. Okay, Claudia Evelyn Hernandez. Claudia. Claudia. Oh, present. Yeah, she was here, I remember. Okay, thank you. Maria Belen Quintanilla Barquero. Present. Thank you. All right. Uh, Omar Inmer Gámez Linares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Lilian González de Peraza. Present, teacher. Thank you. And uh, Shane Zohar Deming Cabrera. Shane, well, Shane was here the majority of the class. Estuvo en la mayor parte de la clase. So, I guess we'll count. All right. Arabella Parada Gámez. Arabella. Present, present, Gracias. teacher. Thank you. Okay. Mario Enrique Márquez Laya. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gloria Beatriz Alegría, perdón, Gloria Beatriz Elías Alegría Orellana. Gloria, Gloria no, is not here today. <clears throat> Elías Samuel Orellana Pérez. No logró venir. Adolfo Jonathan Rodríguez Parada. Present teacher. Got you. Thank you. Aleida Elizabeth Juárez de Guevara. Present. Thank you. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejía. Present. Got you. Thank you. Camila Calles Vinero. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue with what we were doing. All right. So we were. All right. So we were we were working with uh, punctuation. Yeah. All right. Never mind. Let's let's move on, and uh, we're gonna get 
some more practice. Okay, good. Uh, you guys are going to, you guys are going to work in uh, small groups, okay? You guys will work in small groups and uh, you are going to do this, all right? You're going to write a 10 line paragraph. All right, let's have somebody reading what you're doing. Let's have uh, Claudia, please uh, read what we are doing in small groups. Let me share my screen. All right, please. Write a 10 line paragraph about the advantage and disadvantage of implementing a focus group to test a product. Use the transitions of addition and the following advantage and disadvantage. All right, good, good. All right, thank you. Hey, we say this, all right. So we will write a paragraph about uh, disadvantages, disadvantages and advantages. Okay, disadvantages and advantages. Let's uh, repeat these words. Disadvantages. Disadvantages. And advantages. 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 Yeah, advantages and disadvantages. What is, what are advantages? Anybody, any, any clue? Exactly, yeah, pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages. That's what it means. So like good things and the bad things, if we can put it that way. So we will write uh, together, we'll write a short paragraph about uh, a 10 line paragraph about advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group to test the product. So we use, we're, what words are we going to use in this paragraph? Um, let's see, what do we ask? What words are we going to use in this paragraph? Analyze. More. Well, furthermore, yeah. does uh, improve moreover, for okay. instance. Okay, good. All all right also yeah good so those are the words that we will be using instead all right so um let's see how many people can fit in the group today so if you guys uh can use a computer uh have a are working from your computer probably we will do this you will name uh, you will name a person from your group the scripter, all right? The scripter is the one that will type the, the paragraph, okay? Van a, a nombrar como un escriba o algo así. Van a nombrar una persona que va a ser la que va a escribir el párrafo y cuando lo compartamos en el pleno, esa persona lo va a mostrar en la pantalla, okay? Y luego ustedes se toman turnos leyendo su párrafo. Okay, good. So let's see. Let's uh, make small groups. Okay, there we go. So there will be four people in each group. Okay, you help each other. All right. Let's do it. Has everybody received an invitation? Yeah, you're getting your invitations. See, all right, good, good. Everybody is joining the group. All right, fine. All right, Jonathan, please uh, join the group.
Jonathan. Okay, he is in. Let's check on group one. My daughter is taking a class at the same time and I have a problem. If I am connected with a video, it's very slow, slow. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Because she works uh, with the USB, with the cable, and I have to connect me with the Wi-Fi. That's why. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. So sorry. <laughs> you didn't see me. Only so. <laughs> <laughs> only audio yeah it's okay all right good okay good. so let, let's work let's work on it we are going to make in um a two paragraph right uh one one part of that, ten oh, line part <laughs> yes about uh advantages and disadvantages so use the vocabulary in in the lesson all right okay mm -hmm. so uh i i think i'll take a picture Les voy a mandar el, 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 la captura i'll take a picture of the of that and uh, i will put it in the group so everybody sees what you have to do okay all right mm -hmm. So everybody has a, an idea of what to do in the record. There you go. Sent. Oops, I got it. Hasta mí me llegó. Okay, great. Now you have to work. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll go check on the other group. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Talk about a topic. Doesn't... Co uh, do not cover, uh, don't say current uh, word or idea, store brains in the situation or uh, in the, the dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. It's, it's a paragraph, okay? It's a paragraph. It's a paragraph, okay? I have a, okay, I had two, two advantages of the focus group. Okay, so you're doing the advantages and somebody else is doing the disadvantages. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, great. You can even split the work, right? Yeah. Yeah, Claudia. Mm -hmm. oh, and that, hello. And this, and this group is Claudia. <laughs> yeah, and uh, who has a computer? Can you start on a computer? Claudia. Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Uh, you... Only Claudia. All right, but you help her, you give her ideas. So, yes, yes. Uh, Claudia, I think what you can do is sharing screen, okay? There is a okay. button called share screen, so you share screen so everybody sees what you're doing. And you can, you guys can also uh, annotate on, on and make observations in the writing, all right? Great, keep going, yeah? Okay, uh, Claudia, uh, uh, to try to, to to cut uh, or get my idea about the advantage. Good. Uh, big logistics. To or then mm -hmm. it's not hard to use to to plan to plan in the event or, or uh, to, to plan in the event to doing no to doing yeah. mm -hmm. to planning and uh, mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. to doing the event the, uh -huh. oh. But that's right. And problem. What? At least to do to do. Okay. Uh, erase the comment. 
Roman gitu. Ya. Yeah. Hmm. I'll go check on the other group, okay? It looks everything is okay when we implement a focus group on the first uh the first advantages is a variety of opinion situation how Okay, I like it. Like it. It's very good. However, yeah. Situations. Aquí en uh, la puntuación, however, tiene que ponerle punto. Yeah. Uh -huh. Punto hey. y coma al final de however. Yeah, right there. Good, good. However, it requires a big logistic. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Y quizás es decir en lugar de one of the first advantages, voy a decir de una sola vez, the first advantage. Okay, la primera ventaja. Okay. Okay. All right, good, good. Keep going, guys. Well done. Great job. Oh, sorry. I think I have to close the windows. All right, you keep going. I'll go check on another group. Okay. Great. Thank you. What? Okay. Let's check on a different group. Try this. Yes, let's try this. Okay. Opinions. Children with basic opinions. Mm -hmm. In addition to E. In addition to, yeah, que no falta ahí. It's good to me, forecast, uh, any other, I, 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 I,
So, in terms of analyze, we can use forecast to not the, to the market, um, I think. Yeah, use these ideas. Can I, can I help you share my screen? Yeah, can I? Yes. Yeah, okay. Let's see. So it's going to be like this. All right. It's going to be, we write a 10 line paragraph, okay? About the advantages and disadvantages of implementing this group. Aquí las ventajas y desventajas ya están. Okay, ya están. So, mm -hmm. so what, what we have to do, what we have to do is uh, putting it all together in a paragraph. For example, poesia. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, La poesia. Okay. Uh, exactly, okay. cohesion, coherence. So, tiene que ir en un solo texto, así, ¿verdad? Que mm -hmm. uh, for, for example, we can say focus group is a good technique, blah, blah, blah. One of the advantages of a focus group is uh, that is inexpensive. And uh, furthermore, another advantage is that you hear a variety of opinions. <laughs> However, there are disadvantages of, of a focus group. For example, there aren't enough levels. Y así comiencen, okay? Es un texto como en el, en el cual vamos a ir haciendo un párrafo en nuestra interpretación del, del focus group. Okay, y vamos a ir dando estas ideas que están aquí para que no ya está el, el pre-writing, o sea, la, digamos, el, la lluvia de ideas ya está hecha aquí. Mm -hmm. Ya está hecha. Ok, bien. All right, let's keep okay. going. All right, good, good. I'll stop sharing and you guys uh, go ahead and continue. All right. Also. Do you have all the ideas uh, from the brainstorming? Ya tienen todas las ideas que les puse en el, en el chat, las que aparecen en el libro. Big mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just until, are they all in there? Not. Okay. Uh, some Great. of these advantages. Yeah. Uh, you see, you have more material. So you still have uh, the advantages in there. So you, you, you still have more material to write about. Don't worry. All right. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Let's just keep going and checking on the, another group. Yes. So we use more over or not? <laughs> Re relative bellet, relative uh -huh. b, l, uh, l, no, I used to have relative b, okay, inexpensive. Mm -hmm. A variety of opinions, accurate, eh? um, yes. solo quítale la r. Porque dice un set. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And disadvantage. Not enough stereotypes. Mm -hmm. 
in the selected audience. Okay. Not considering that the participants are part of the target language. Another, the last one, dominant personality personality. within the group. Personality, personality. Oui. Within uh -huh. the group. Okay. All right, good. Okay. The focal groups, I ah, guess, is, is relative or are the focus the uh, groups or group. Uh, let me see. This uh, focus group. Uh -huh. Is that, uh -huh, yes. It's a good, good technique. So, uh? It's a good technique. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? uh -huh. Relativamente. And? Oh, no sé qué otro conector se les ocurre. And uh, it is, yeah, you can say, and it is relatively okay. inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Acá podríamos usar okay, further oh. more, uh, also. also also okay come out a variety of opinions also a variety of opinions for different experts yeah, different experts, yes. Expert. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Keep going, guys. Keep going. What did you mean, unbiased opinion, teacher? Unbiased um, is uh, opinions, neutral opinions. Mm. Ah, okay. Neutral, okay? Son neutras. No okay. Bias en inglés significa como una inclinación. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is unbiased is neutral. Neutral, okay. Yeah, good. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, keep going. Also, a variety of opinions for different experts. By aquí, lo único que les va a pasar es que quizás les vayan a faltar líneas. Entonces, para, digamos, cada punto mm -hmm. sería bueno que lo fueran como explicando. But por ejemplo, it's a good technique and it, and it is relatively inexpensive. Okay, y de ahí que podemos decir, um, for example, for example, you can have a meeting and and run your focus group at work. Uh -huh. Meeting and run your focus group. In working hours, por ejemplo, en las horas de trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. In working hours. Y ahí, hours. Uh, hours. Hours. Uh -huh. With an H. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And uh, that way you explain one of your points. Y de ahí vamos al siguiente punto. ¿Cuál es la siguiente ventaja? Y vamos, conectamos en la siguiente ventaja utilizando furthermore, in addition. Y así. Y al mismo tiempo explicamos, ¿verdad? Esa ventaja. Y así vamos a ir. Ven, uh, no necesariamente va a haber un conector en todas. Vamos a ir conector, luego Jesus. Sí, va a llevar con todo. Eh, conector, luego vamos con una ventaja. Le explicamos. Siguiente, siguiente ventaja, conector si es necesario. Y luego se explica y así van a ver que van a ser hasta más de 10 líneas. Ya van a ver. Yeah. All right. Good. Keep going, guys. 
a check on all right seems like somebody isn't in a group all right you just continue you can have a meeting with well programming who's programming who is that programmando q students <laughs> jose uh he had jose. to <laughs> okay he's gonna hack everybody <laughs> All right, good. It's okay. okay well, maybe we can say also not everyone can stay present. But sometimes this is a problem. No, uh, everybody have a different times or free time. And sometimes uh -huh. you have to get a meeting, but one is coming. And participate. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And not everyone can stay present. Okay. That's true. Uh -huh. every, everyone is present. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Present. Yes. At, yes. at the same time. Like it? In my case, believe me, this is a big problem to work. Yes. In time. Uh -huh. and and in addition, we can use in addition oh, word. No. Yeah. In addition, we can say, okay, we can say in addition, it's complicated, complete, complicated, I think, to, to, I don't know how you say, to schedule. To ready or to participate in the time, I don't know. Or to get a better result. to schedule the the meeting. The meeting. Uh -huh. yeah. Because it's it's a meeting. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Meeting or not? Yeah. M E E. M E E. Mm -hmm. T yeah. Good. Pretty good. Should, should let, should Schedule. Yes, schedule. <laughs> All right, good, good. Keep going, okay. guys. Okay, okay. This is our 10 sentences. Okay. Yeah, 10 sentences. Okay. And uh, now, now you, are you going to put them all together in, in a separate document? Te van a mover a otro documento. Or, or like copy and paste. Remember, in a paragraph, it has to be all one block of sentences. Tiene que ser un bloque de oraciones. Okay? Okay. Now, this is, it's good. These sentences are perfect and I think they're connected. Though, uh, they have to be like in a set, in a group of sentences, in a block. Okay. Así como los párrafos que leímos en los ejercicios que les mostré del otro libro. Ah, Tiene que ser okay. un bloquecito de sentences. Ese es, eh, okay. ese es un párrafo. That's a paragraph. Aquí okay. las oraciones están bien. De hecho, están conectadas como que estuvieran en un párrafo. Pero están en forma de lista. Uno, dos, tres. Y el and the paragraph is a text. Es así. Ok. It's uh -huh. a text. So only one paragraph. Yeah, only one paragraph. And, and, Continue. Yeah, all... So we have to make two, one for the first time and the other one for the sixth to tenth, right? Uh, no, it's all have... one for, for advantages and disadvantages. Es solo uno por, para las dos cosas, para advantages and ah, okay. disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Thank you. All right, we'll can keep going, guys. Good job. Okay. okay, for example, the focus group to get more information, for example, to get more idea, it's a result for a team work. Mm -hmm. I think it's another paragraph. Mm -hmm. Focus group, it's important for getting ideas. Also, we can mm -hmm. get brainstorm from the participants. From the participants. Yeah, good, good. Now let's... And we have... In... And we have yes in the and we have this and we have 
first of all, variety of idea. In conclusion, we have better results. Uh -huh. That conclusion is with an S, okay? Mm -hmm. S, conclusion. Okay. And uh, it's T is S I O N. Yeah, good. Okay, okay, All right. okay. thanks. Thanks. Okay, and let's keep checking on the other people. Okay. Okay. We need to work extra time. Moreover, it's more tighter. <laughs> wow, it looks good now. <laughs> yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. Ah, se refería a un segundo que yo interpreto lo que le menciono, pero que menciona la obra de la calidad. Estamos hablando de la cobertura. Social group is a good resource. <laughs> no. Don't forget examples and those things. They they're they're important too. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, a focus group is a good resource for creating some sort of text. For example. Example, I can understand very well. To a later, okay. All right, I'll go check on another group. Okay, this probably. And this a focus group is a good resource for implementing implementing some method of test. For example, ah, I guess. For example, um, con un survey al inicio con una no ahí llega sí. Use yeah good. Test al final. Es en plural, surface. Surface? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. To improve our, uh, our product. Huh? Para mejorar nuestro, nuestro producto. To improve our product. Yo creo que con eso terminaría la frase. Yes. Punto. Y ahí comenzaría otra, otra, otra. Y in additionally, no sé. 
Yes, could be. In addition, what is the in addition? Uh, double D? Or double no. D? Double D. Uh, double D, yeah. Double D. Can you show me? In addition to the focus group. In addition, I think it's a comma. ¿Cómo se podría que Preparar. nos ofrece? Repeat. Nos ofrece. Uh, to offer us. To offer us. Offering us. Uh -huh. Ofreciéndonos. Lo voy a escribir. Offer. Ok. Uh -huh. Lo que sigue. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué esta idea de que, de que nos ofrece una variedad de opiniones de diferentes expertos? Porque podemos hacer un focus group. De focus group es una variedad dirigido. de opiniones por diferentes expertos. Pero aquí falta un, con, uh, un conector. Ajá. ¿Allí? ¿Dónde está? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo. En addition, the focus groups offer example, us sí. a una variedad de opinión. ¿Qué tipo de expertos? Ajá. Una opinión por tipo de expertos. <laughs> Ingeniero. Yeah, let, let me. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, keep going. I'll check on. We have like uh, two more minutes. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Bye I, Minu. Claudia. I, Claudia, I le mandé algo al chat. Because. Ajá, y como esa es la, la última frase, ¿verdad? Que vamos a agregarle ahí a las ventajas. A la ventaja. Entonces podemos ocupar in brief, en breve o para resumir tu, tu zona. Es que aquí en tenemos, por ejemplo, pero sí. no tenemos nada. Esa es tu zona, como para resumir. Ahí, tu zona. There you go. Go away until, until the teacher. Oh, I see. Teacher, we finished. We finished? Wow. Right on time. Man, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. A focus group is a good source for implementing. Let, let me read the whole thing here. For implementing okay. some method of test, for example, what consumers think of a new product. Therefore, when we implement a focus group, the first advantage is a variety of, mm -hmm. the first advantage is a variety of opinions, yeah, of problems or situation. However, it requires the biggest logistics to do the event. Okay, uh, that's good. Uh, remember, it's health stuff. Es punto y seguido. Entonces, este besides tiene que ir continuo. Ajá, ok. Continuamos. Besides, the other advantages include accurate and unbiased opinion. And relative. Aquí, in addition, cuando decimos in addition, tenemos que agregar una oración completa. Ok. Entonces, si ustedes iban a poner las, aquí tendría que ser end. End en lugar de in addition, porque aquí solo están uniendo dos elementos, no están uniendo una oración completa. And they are, and relatively, un, yeah, and they are relatively inexpensive. Okay. And even so, we have, aquí podríamos decir, eh, digamos, however, como lo habían utilizado antes, however, o nevertheless. Mm -hmm. However, we have many disadvantages. Uh -huh. Y quitan eso, even so, we have many disadvantages, like work in small groups, 
and also is the dominant personality within the group, okay? Moreover, there are not enough stereotypes as selected. Then we are, we have, okay? Aquí es, en lugar de are, tiene que ser we have. To be careful when we select the sample. Okay, and uh, we, therefore, aquí quizás en lugar de therefore, ¿cuáles son los que utilizamos para concluir? Tenemos uh, in some, as a conclusion, podemos utilizar uno de esos para cerrar, okay? In some or as a conclusion. Uh, we think a focus group is a good resource, is a good resource. Uh, yeah. oh, but, uh, 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 para qué se utiliza el focus group? Para re la opinión, ¿verdad? Entonces pueden decir, is a good resource to... Yeah, I put in, uh, collect opinions. All right, I'll go check on the, we're, we're going back to the main session. Vamos a regresar a la sesión principal, okay? Good. Okay. We are going to check on your paragraphs and you guys, you guys are going to read them for us. So you take turns, like, uh, for example, one person reading, reads one sentence and then the other continues with the other. All right. But first, uh, let me run attendance for the ones who were not here before we continue. So let's see. Uh, here we have uh, Iris Dorotea Acevedo. Not here. Gloria Beatriz Orellana tampoco se hizo presente. Elías Samuel Orellana tampoco estuvo. Okay, muy bien. All right, let's continue. All right, good. Good. Uh, so group number one in my list is uh, Ana Lilian. Okay, Ana Lilian, Arabella, and Jose. Please go ahead and... Uh, all right, uh, Maria too? Was, yes. Uh, okay, was Maria there in that group too? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, but it, she wasn't in the list, but anyways, yeah. Start and read your 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 uh, paragraph, please. Uh, share the screen. Don't forget, don't forget that, share screen. Okay, I will share the screen. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay, please. Yeah, we can see. Okay. Okay, I will start. Mm -hmm. Okay, the focus group to get more information, for example, to get more ideas. It's a result for a teamwork. Focus group, it's important to get new ideas. Okay. Also, we can get brainstorm from the participants. And we have, first of all, variety of idea. In conclusion, we have better results. We need to work extra time. Therefore, it is more tired. Moreover, the group, it is the focus group, it is more expensive. We need a logistic team to develop this method. Yeah. Also, not every one it's present at time. In addition, it's complicated to schedule the merit. As a result, the focus group worth the effort. Okay, good. All right, I see in here, let me try to, let me annotate. Oops. I, I can't. Anyways, uh, it looks good. 
the focus group, we can say like a focus group is a good tool for getting more ideas. Así podemos comenzar como a focus group is a good tool, uh, is a good, uh, a good tool to get more information. Así está bien, to get more information. For example, to get more ideas. Is a result of teamwork. Focus group is important to get more ideas. Uh, aquí estamos repitiendo información. Also, we can brainstorm for... Mm -hmm. First of all, es cuando va siempre al principio, ¿ok? Como vemos en, la, en, el, en, lo, en los párrafos anteriores. First of all, va al principio cuando se van nombrando, digamos, cinco razones, ¿verdad? First of all, uh, it's mm -hmm. a good tool to get more ideas. Second... Y va segundo razón. Third, y así van. Cuarto. Entonces, quizás. Uh, mm -hmm, focus group. Yeah, like probably this one. We can brainstorm from the participants. Ajá, ese quizás podría ir al, al principio. Al principio, en lugar de, de, de estar ahí en esa posición. En lugar de also. Uh -huh. En lugar de also, porque creo que ahí sería. Uh -huh. First of all, we can brainstorm for the ideas, and we have a variety of ideas from the participants. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Good. It's more tired. Aquí podemos decir, en, en lugar de more tired, podemos decir more exhausting. Porque cuando. Mm -hmm. Exhausting. All right. Exhausting. Tired. Tired is cuando yo estoy cansado. Yo. All right. When a person is tired. Pero cuando algo es cansado, o sea, o algo nos causa cansancio, is exhausting. Disgusting. No, exhausting. Exhausting. Yeah, exhausting. Like this. Exhausting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Let's see. We do not work, therefore, it's more exhausting. Moreover, focus group is inexpensive, but we need uh, is inexpensive. All right, all right, good. It will look better if it was in a hole in a in un bloque de oración, verdad? Ahí porque se lo estaban leyendo. Yes. Uh -huh. Pero sí, de ahí yo creo que ya juntos se vería bien. Al final. Al final, quizás podrían decir, en lugar de as a result, in conclusion. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Cerramos el párrafo. Or in sum. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's see about the time. Oh, yeah. We still have. Ok. In conclusion, the focus group is worth the effort. All right. Good. Very good. Thank okay. you. Uh -huh. Then if we put that all together, it will look better. Oh, yeah. Ok. Great. Thank you. Let's check on group number Two, that's gonna be, uh, I think it's Andrea, Claudia, Omar, and Romulo. Yes, go ahead, please, share your screen. All right. I have to read. Whoever wants to start, really. Anybody can start. Me. Mm -hmm. Focus group is a good technique and it is relative inexpensive. For example, you can have a meeting and join your focus group in working hours. Mm -hmm. All right. Continue, please. Somebody else. Moreover, we can select the participants and choose the samples what you want. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, somebody else? However, there are many other techniques for marketing surveys to improve a product. Yeah, good. Continue. In addition, the book offers us a different points of view. From experts, accurate, and um, but, um, the side opinion. 
to sum up each member can be that at the same time adds to the brainstorming. Mm -hmm. All right. That, I like uh, how it is structured. Yeah, let me see. It's a good thing you can have me in your focus group. Uh, quizás puntuación and moreover, you can say uh, how stop, how stop, or punto y seguido y coma. Okay? We can select participants and choose the samples. Y aquí en lugar de what is that you want. Okay, that. That you want. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That you want. Yeah. However, there are many other, other, aquí es, el other es un adjetivo, entonces no lleva ese, ¿verdad? No se pluraliza. Okay. And uh, in addition, the focus group offers, offers es tercera persona, ¿verdad? El focus group. Mm -hmm. Offers us points from experts and by to sum up each member different different opinion points of view from experts accurate and unbiased opinion. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Quizá aquí todavía no han concluido ustedes. Aquí todavía están explicando el punto anterior. En el, wow. Me lo han puesto to sum up. Le pusieron el conector de conclusión, pero Todavía no hemos concluido. Así que uh, aquí le pueden poner, uh, for example, for example, each member can give their own idea. Uh -huh. Y, uh -huh. muy bien, muy bien. Y de ahí pueden poner al final, to sum up, pueden poner algo similar a su oración, del, a la oración del principio. Digamos, to sum up, a focus group is a good technique to get ideas uh -huh. is a good is a good technique to get ideas in your company yes y lo concluyen la conclusión tiene que parafrasear digamos el 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 principio de su de su párrafo o la la idea principal good good but it, i like how it looks like it's pretty it was very tight just ordering some ideas but algo que hicieron en 20 minutos, it's pretty good. Yeah, all right. Uh, I want to check very quickly on the last group, please. Thank you very much for sharing, Romulo and Romulo and group. Let's check on the last one. Vamos a ver. And it's uh, Jonathan, Aleida, and Camila. Camila and Mario. Oh, wait, they just did. No, they haven't. Yeah, Jonathan, Aleida, Camila, and Mario. Go ahead, please. Let's check on the last one. Okay. All right. All right, just go ahead and read it, please. Okay. A focus group is a good resource for implementing some method of tests, for example. When customers think about a new product, therefore, when we implement a focus group, sorry, is uh, yeah, somebody else continues, please. Mm -hmm. Somebody else in the group. Sorry, continues. sorry, sorry. Okay. Therefore, when, when we implement the focus group, the first advertise is a variety of opinions of problem or situation. However, it requires the biggest logistics to do the event. Mm -hmm. All right. Besides other advantages, or advantages, advantages, advantages. <laughs> advantages include accurate and unbiased um, um, opinions, yeah, unbiased. Mm -hmm. unbiased opinion, and they are rel relatively inexpensive. Mm -hmm. However, we have many disadvantages. Disadvantages. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Olivia. Like work only with small groups and also can exist a dominant personality within the group. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. Moreover, Sorry. Are... moreover, moreover, mm -hmm. there are not enough stereo stereotypes types. Stereo stereotypes stereotypes in the selected audience. Audience. Yes. Audience, the, yes. 
then we have to be careful when we select the sample. As a conclusion, we think a focus group is a good resource to collect opi opine opinions, opinions. opinions, having a good moderate, moderator, moderator mm -hmm. and have a perfect place for the test. Perfect. This is really good. Very, very good. Yeah. I think I had a better chance to check on this. Creo que aquí tuve un poquito más. Ustedes ya lo tenían casi que terminado cuando yo lo revisé. Así que that's why we had more chance to solve it. But it would, it's really good. Estamos explicando con cada conector una razón más. Entonces eh, le está agregando, le agrega mucho contexto al párrafo. Great job, guys. So uh, this is just one of the many things we can do in the... Uh, I think probably in another session, in a review session, we're gonna check, do another paragraph, okay? In otra session, vamos a practicar hacer otro párrafo para que se nos haga, para que nos afilemos más esta habilidad. Acuérdense que no, no hacemos mucha escritura. So it's, it, it will, a nice practice session and this will be perfect, probably Friday. I think Friday we have time. Good guys, thank you for joining today. I hope everybody has a good night and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Please don't forget to join the session with your full name, okay? Full name, please, that's important. Full name, like uh, Andrea and Aleida and Ana Lilian, just like that, full name, all right? I'll see you tomorrow, right? Take care of yourselves. See good you night. Good see night. you. See you. Good good night. Night. Good night. Good night. Thank you.